So you'll instantly uh, recognise, I uh, hopefully, the Britannia High. How many? Oh no, I should have worked it out. How many? Are there? There's about five of you. Are you so six? So there's two, two sixths. <laughs> what? <laughs> That, that's not good. Anyway, anyway, so I've known Matthew. How long have I known you? Since uh, you were a baby. Since I was four, yeah, since I was about four. Because um, I went over boy and everything. Don't know you. And from what I've met of you already, I'm not sure if I want to. Do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Sapphire, to those of you who don't know. Um, and I play Claudine. The first thing that grabs me is, I mean, rehearsing and anything, if you're in the know, it's quite gruelling, quite time-consuming. You having to do all the dances and, and working out as well. Must have been a quite a hectic schedule. It was a very hectic schedule, the most hectic I've ever had in my whole entire life. The hardest work. I mean, my stamina was really tested <laughs> throughout this whole series. I'm a lot tougher now, I think, than I was when I started. Who was a typical week then? I mean, and how long did it take to do the series? We started, um, we had at first these two weeks of just pure dance rehearsals with the guy Andy Turner and Arlene, the whole crew were there. She's an evil witch. She's lovely, actually. Um, very hard hitting, but lovely. Um, yeah, so we had these two weeks of dance rehearsals, which was literally um, every day from you know, seven till seven, um, solid dance practice and, and getting the, the routines learned for the first block, of, um, um, the first filming block. Um, and they were really tough, and we weren't expecting it. I wasn't. I was. I couldn't get out of bed the second day, so definitely said something. We were all like visiting the physio. We were so we had knots everywhere actually, and everything. I didn't he was the only one who didn't actually. I stayed strong. Yeah. You were so a toned athlete like me wouldn't have perhaps no, had a struggle. Because we do go back quite a few years. So I, I know you know your mum's a very good um, established dance teacher. Your dad's very musical, so you've got a bit of that from that. But I'm sure there's probably somebody that, as you were growing up, you saw and. and sort of performing and such like and thought, you know, I want to aspire to him, was there? Um, I don't know, I, I was very lucky to have the opportunity to work with some fantastic actors um, in some of the productions I did as a child and growing up to now, um, especially when uh, Richard wow. took a bit of prompting. So much comic timing. Um, <laughs> and then secondly, um, working with people like uh, uh, Gina McKee, Miranda Richardson and people like Stephen Polyakov, you know, just across my career have helped me learn so much. Well, I think it was me, that's what I was getting Maybe. at, that kicked it off. Yeah, yeah, you. It meant all you. And you knew each other before the show, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We met at school. We both went to Sylvia Young, which is a stage school in London. And, um, yeah, I think we were at 12 or 13, and we were dating then. And then we didn't see each other for about five years when we left school, and then we met up again on the job. And the actual footage of us meeting up again is on the internet. Yeah. On the documentary, Britannia High documentary. And then we fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's almost, almost cheesy camp and, s and sickly as, as the plot lines. But, uh, <laughs> no, I'm quite enjoying it. Um, I'm trying to think, am I, am I loyal and enjoying it because I know you? Or whether I'm actually enjoying it? It, it hits me of kits of fame in my era, which was quite good. I guess... The angle is High School Musical that you're going for. Well, yeah, I think it does um, captivate the same audience as High School Musical. Um, but I think we originally we were going for a more fame type thing, but I think it's kind of a bit of a crossover. And you went to so with Young, is Britannia High anything like real, or, or is it all just made up for the camera? All the principles are the same. You know, you go to a performing arts school to train to to be the best at what you, what you do. Um, it's the same for Britannia High. It might look slightly more uh, glamorised, um, you know, plasma screens in the walls and no, no wallpaper hanging off the, off the walls either. But um, I'm not saying that any of um, the places I've trained are like that, but... Um, most backstage in a the normal theatre is manky heap, I mean, most of the, most of the, the best theatre arts colleges and, and, and schools in London, you know, not, don't necessarily look the best, but they, they, they bring the best out of the students they teach. Um, now, he's been... Not, he, he was the... Ponce, the annoying one in Billy Elliot. He's, yeah. He was a little spro royal sprog with it issues, wasn't he, in various, in the Polyakov one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you been up to? Um, what, before Britannia High? Um, I was in a series called Dream Team. I know someone that used to be in Dream Team. Yeah, I've She's probably older generation. Knocking on a bit. Is she? Um, <laughs> sorry to hear that. No, uh, yeah, no. I was in the final series of that. I played the uh, manager's daughter, Gemma Cray, who gets up to a lot of naughtiness and starts going out with footballers. But yeah, no, I learned a lot from that job. And before that, I did. I was appearing in little bits and bobs here and there, like cameo appearances and stuff. Um, yeah, and I was in Les Mis when I was younger. I played Cosette in the West End. And whatever the success of Britannia High, I guess it's 
it's exposed you both yeah, very well, hasn't it, to the next stage. Now, so it's, um, Coming up in the Canon's gym, everyone's taking double takes. You know, Whether it's, it's thinking, it's, gosh, it's my old gym. is that Richard Carr? <laughs> <laughs> this is my old gym. I used to train. I'm just looking outside. Don't laugh, love. We'll fall out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't warned her about me, have you? No, no I didn't. No. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, very gruelling. You've seen me dance before, haven't you? Your mum, uh, yeah, well, not quite. Your mum got me through. I was doing the hot Mikado, wasn't I? That's and right. I had an eight-minute song and dance and tap routine. And I can't tap dance, can't dance to save my life. But she made me make all the right noises. I thought I was quite proud of that. Yeah, mum still goes strong as well. <laughs> so we can't meet up without perhaps having a bit of a practice to see whether I have, whether I've lost it or not, really. Find out, yeah, work with you a bit more to find out if you're, because you're a bit of a not stroppy cow in the, in yeah, the show. Yeah, I'm a bit of a mean bitch, basically. Yeah. So let's get down and dirty. I'm not a robot. Well, we'll find out. We'll have a little practice. I've, I've got a little outfit. Nice to see oh. you dressed up. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and then we'll see if we can recreate one of the, those lovely dream sequences from okay. Britannia High. In the spinning suite. Oh, see you there. You girls and boys like to do a bit of warming up because it can be quite dangerous. It is, if you, it can be. If you don't. I'm a little bit upset you're not really... I, I've made the effort to dress for the part. Yeah, gear. Yeah. <laughs> huh? looking hot. I'm loving Ooh, the I'm, hat. I'm falling for you now. <laughs> so, look, I've got my... What are these shoes? They're Your mum made me buy them at an extortionate price at the time when the last show I was in, and that's probably the last but one I've Look how good them. they still are. They're still, still together. It's a bit sore, yeah. yeah. And you've gone for... Exclusive dancing appearance with a Britannia High Class. Well, I think I've added a little extra to it, if, if Arlene's watching. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what are we going to do? Are we going to learn one of the routines? Yeah. I'm going to teach you a bit from uh, Start Something Good, which is the first, um, the very first song. The, the sequence to titles. The yeah. And if, if with the heads, so you can kind of move forward a bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. No strong hands. Yeah, because we start back. Five. Sit your hands up. You're going to go over. You were crushing it then. It's understandable when you meet for the first time you want to be here. That's what it is. Well, it's not very good. It's not as good as his mum's teacher. It's not a good teacher. Thanks. But you teach her. Alright. So. I don't know what She's not very good, is she? No. She's not very good. Because you already know, don't you? Yeah. I'm always from the top. When you first come in, I didn't quite like you. But now.
Matthew as Jez in Britannia High. Richard as 50 Cent's guest star. Ha <laughs> ha 